then when she gave me the mirror, I was horrified. I have made a huge mistake. Hello, it's been a while. Welcome back. This is the final update of my braces journey. My teeth are finished. They are finished, ladies and gentlemen. I have finally had my composite bonding done, which means I now have a set of lateral incisors instead of an extra set of canines. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the before and afters straight away, because I know that's what you wanna see. So this is the before and after of my teeth after getting the composite bonding. This before photo is not from the beginning of my journey. This is just the last time you saw me. So this is after having braces. I am gonna show the real before and after towards the end of the video. But in this video, I wanted to explain what I had done, what composite bonding is, what the experience was like, what to expect getting it done, how much it costs. Disclaimer, this is not professional dental advice. This is just what I've been told by my dentist, what I know from personal experience and what I've learned from the internet. It took me a little while to get used to them and I definitely did not like them at first. I actually had to get them redone a couple of times because when I first saw them, I was like, what the f these look ridiculous. <laughs> but I'm gonna explain more about that later on in the video. I have actually been meaning to get composite bonding for about the last six years, and I've finally done it six years later. Composite bonding is basically like a resin that they put on your tooth and they shape it to the shape of your tooth. And it's usually used to like, if you've cracked a tooth or if you have gaps between your teeth, um, like used to kind of fill in those gaps. It's kind of like getting veneers, except it's not as invasive and it's not as costly. When you get veneers, obviously, they shave your teeth down to like little pegs and then the veneer goes on and they're supposed to last I think they last like a lifetime or maybe you have to get them replaced a few times but anyway composite bonding they don't shave your teeth down to pegs so you still have your actual tooth underneath they sometimes need to shave a little bit of it down but not like considerably it literally just put this resin on top of your tooth shape it to a new tooth they can do like a lighter color so if you just want to change the color of your teeth you could get it done on all of your teeth and make them whiter or if you just want to like change a couple of teeth like me, you can do that also. I originally thought they were just gonna do literally the bottom of the tooth where I wanted it to be square rather than uh, pointed, but they actually ended up doing the whole tooth. Now you do have to get them replaced. My dentist said that it will last around six years. I've also heard from other sources that it can last around 10 years depending how you look after them. And you do have to get them redone and they can also chip and break, which will mean you need to go and get them redone as well. So you have to be very careful about what you eat and like how you use your teeth to like bite into things. How much did it cost? At my dentist it was £195 per tooth. So because I just got two teeth done it cost me £390. It's kind of a lot for a dental procedure I guess but when I put it in perspective with actually getting braces and the cost of that and the cost of other dental procedures it's actually not that expensive. Like lip fillers for example can cost anywhere between like £200 and £400. <laughs> Considering these teeth will, should last me around six years um, I'd say that's a pretty good deal considering what it's given me. The dramatic amount of confidence it's given me and the difference it's made to my face and my smile. And one of the main reasons I chose composite bonding was because I did not want my real teeth to be shaven down to pegs. That just freaks me out. By the way, if you're finding this video useful so far, please give it a like. So before I talk about the actual experience of getting composite bonding done, which I wasn't very pleased with my experience for reasons I'm gonna talk about in a minute, but I'm gonna talk briefly about my entire dental journey. I first started wanting to change my teeth when I was about 19 or 20 years old and at 21 I actually sought out getting veneers because I didn't know what composite bonding was at the time. So I was emailing dentists telling them about my problem with my two huge canines and asking what to do and then I learned about composite bonding. So I went for a consultation when I was 21. They basically told me that my two canines were too big and too far forward and too bulbous to get composite bonding and I'll never forget that he used that word. That word bulbous has stuck in my head ever since that my teeth are bulbous. <laughs> so essentially they were too big and he told me that if I got composite bonding on them they would look really weird because they were almost the size of my two front teeth. Now they still are quite big, bigger than normal lateral incisors but we've managed to make them look more normal. I was kind of put off that idea and I thought hmm okay maybe I need to think about this a little longer. I ended up getting a whitening treatment because I knew that I wanted to get them whitened anyway. My teeth were very 
very yellow. I have been drinking tea since I was literally, I wanna say like three years old. My mum used to give me tea in a bowl. And I love like very staining foods, curries, turmeric, coffee, all of that good stuff that stains your teeth. I'm gonna show you a clip of what my teeth looked like when I was 21 years old and I absolutely hate this clip. This is a vlog during my first year of uni and oh, I look, I can't stand how my teeth look in this. So much to the point that I actually went back and unlisted this vlog on my channel like a couple years back because I remember watching it and thinking oh my god I look awful. So yeah, I got a whitening treatment called Enlighten. They basically gave me these little teeth trays and you put in this little gel and you wear them at night or for a couple of hours. They did whiten my teeth quite considerably and they looked really good for a good couple of years and it didn't hurt or anything. So I definitely recommend Enlighten. I just wanted to mention that this is obviously my own insecurity and unfortunately beauty standards haven't helped in the way that I obviously viewed my teeth. I thought, uh, you know, I've always thought I was my mouth is pretty ugly when I smile. <laughs> like, I know it's really, really sad, but um, it's just honestly the way I felt. And I don't want anyone to think that if they don't have perfect teeth that they're not attractive or they're not you know beautiful i see so many gorgeous like models actresses all the time with like crooked teeth like not perfectly white perfectly straight teeth and i still do think they're beautiful so just because <laughs> just because you know i have my own insecurity and i didn't think i was attractive doesn't mean that anyone else needs to do the same thing that i did and i am happy with the result but i don't want anyone to think that they have to do the same thing because teeth do not have to look perfect. So then fast forward to about the age of 24 and I decided, okay, I've graduated from uni. Next thing is I want to sort out my teeth. I went into a different dentist to get a consultation and they told me that before getting composite bonding, I'd be better off actually getting braces, which I'd never even considered that I'd even ever need. Turns out to be like one of the best decisions I've ever made. I went home and thought about it. And I thought, gosh, this is really expensive. And it's like, I'm going to have braces and I'm 24 or maybe I was 25 at the time. I came to the conclusion that do you know what I kind of want braces I've always wanted braces when I was a little girl I know a lot of people don't like them I just think they're so cute another reason which I'm so blessed and I thank the Lord for is that I did have the money to do it so I had had like a couple of videos go viral in the previous years and I had been saving up like a lot of my income from my YouTube channel I wasn't spending it I was saving it in fact I still have savings from the good times when my channel was making good money so I had the money to do it it was four and a half grand and basically I paid on finance so I paid like 190 pound a month for like a two years or something but I ended up actually paying it all off after the first year I just hate seeing this money go out of my account every month like just get it over and done with just pay it so I paid it from my savings account obviously I could not get it on NHS it was a private dentist obviously the procedure I was paying for was cosmetic it wasn't like a health problem but obviously there is the finance option if you don't have the money to pay you can pay like a monthly fee so I had braces for one and a half years and I did not expect that it was actually going to change my whole face like it changed the whole structure of my face I became so much more attractive in my own opinion my face matured my face elongated my face used to be quite short and round and it's still quite round but it's elongated it out and it's given me like cheekbones because I had such a big overbite that my face was just quite short and round maybe also just the process of aging and like getting older has also changed my face which I totally understand as well, but I'm telling you, braces changed my freaking face. Even for the p first two months, my teeth drastically changed, dramatically. Highly recommend going and watching the early episodes of my braces journey because <laughs> that first week of eating was so difficult. I loved every day of having braces except for that first like two weeks. Go back and watch that video. I show everything I ate and like the whole process of learning to eat over again. So then I got them taken off about a year ago. After I got them taken off, they had kind of gone a little bit more yellow again. So I decided to get another whitening treatment. And this time I did not get on with this whitening treatment at all. It was called Zoom Whitening. I talk about it more in the previous episode. It didn't seem to like whiten my teeth very much or there wasn't very much dramatic change. And it hurt like a mother.
I would wake up in the night with stabbing pains in my teeth and I don't know if this is because I had whitened them previously so the enamel had been slightly broken down maybe that's why it hurt more and it wouldn't hurt for like people starting out on it but I did not like it so it took me like months just to get them to a shade that I was kind of happy with once I got the composite bonding on that was a color that I'd have to then have for the next like five to ten years so I wanted to make sure it was a color I was happy with but I didn't manage to get that and now I'm going to talk about the experience of getting composite bonding bonding, the procedure, what happened, how long it took, um, did it hurt? I was really nervous going in because I had been trying to whiten my teeth like the days previously. I'd even tried these crest whitening strips and they made my teeth so sore. So when I actually went in, my teeth were sore and sensitive and I was like, oh my god, this is gonna hurt so bad. They're gonna shave down my teeth and they're already really sensitive. But luckily they did inject in some local anesthetic, I think it's called, which completely numbed the whole area. We had like a brief talk about about what I wanted. Now here's the bit that I was a bit upset about. So I had mentioned to her that I wanted a shade or two lighter than the actual shade of the teeth she was covering because I was planning on continuing my whitening treatment because obviously I wasn't happy with the shade they were and I wanted them to be a little bit lighter and she was like okay well I'll 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 figure it out we'll figure it out as we go like we'll have a look um so yeah I laid down in the chair and also that was the first time I realized that they were going to do the whole entire tooth I thought I still thought it was just going to be the bottom I learned right there in the chair they were going to do the whole entire tooth so I was like okay so I laid down and I was at the mercy of the dentist no offense to her she did a great job in the end but she seemed I got this vibe this energy from her that she was just really tired like she was really done with the day or with whatever she was going through she was sighing and like she didn't seem very um enthusiastic or like not exactly dismissive but just not exactly the kind of care and attention that I would expect considering I was getting a procedure that I was going to have to stick with for the next six to ten years I thought like I would get to choose the color or when we got to that part of the process that she would like I would get to choose the color but I didn't she just went ahead with the color that she thought and when I looked close up afterwards like I can see that it is a shade darker than my two front teeth so overall the color match is pretty good you can't tell from like a distance but when I'm close up or in some lightings in some mirrors I can tell that they are a bit more yellow than my two front teeth and there's nothing I can do about it now unless I went and got them redone so that was the first thing I was a bit like mm, about the only bit that really hurt is when they actually injected in the uh, numbing anesthetic um, that did hurt like I kind of had to kind of like <sighs> like breathe in and like squeeze my hands together but once it had been injected like I could not feel a Thing. worked so well that my nose actually went numb, my whole top lip was numb, my whole top gums, my whole front teeth, it really didn't hurt at all after the anaesthetic was in there. It did take a little while, they had to like prep the teeth, obviously I mentioned that unlike veneers they don't like shave down your actual entire tooth but they did have to shave it a little bit because mine especially was so big so she shaved off a little bit like off of the bulk of it and then a little bit of the tip as well. Then got to work on like applying the resin and I had to have this big like weird plastic thing to hold my mouth open and it was quite a long process so my neck was starting to hurt and like my my mouth felt really weird like it was really weird to swallow and stuff and it was just it was a long time to lay there with my mouth open and this big plastic thing in there but then when she gave me the mirror to look at my teeth I was horrified I was actually horrified <laughs> I looked at them and this was before she had like because this was the first look okay she basically said okay we can still go in and change them but just tell me what you think they were so freaking square they were like flush to my front teeth and they looked so big and so fake and they kind of like looked a little bit dark I don't know if it was just the lighting in there but I was like what on earth have I done I thought in that moment oh my god I have made a huge mistake. They look like plastic fake teeth just on my teeth. I obviously didn't want to like show that I was horrified but I kind of was just like oh um okay I guess they're okay um and she was like we can change them if you want any like changes just let me know what you want me to do and I was like can we just make them look a little bit smaller and like make them look a little bit less square because they were like right angle square I'm talking square <laughs> 
so she went back in she shaved them down and I think we went back in a total of like three times that I would come up look in the mirror and be like can you just shave a little bit more off and she'd go back shave a bit more off shave a bit more off to the point where at the end she didn't even hand me the mirror she didn't even hand me the mirror at the end she was like okay well maybe we can book another appointment like you can come in like in a couple weeks maybe we can alter them then <laughs> I was like Okay, she kind of rounded off the bottom so they looked a bit more natural and she'd made them look a tiny bit smaller. I then had to go uh, straight away to get my a new set of retainers made because my teeth were different now so my retainer wouldn't fit. And I was like, oh crap, like what if I want to change them? Then I'll have to get another retainer made and I'll have to pay for another retainer. Anyway, I went home, I got other people's opinion and I actually sort of got used to them. I started to actually really like them and I thought, Do you know what? I can see looking from an outside perspective that they do look better than they did before. It just looked weird in my mouth. Another thing that I wasn't too happy with, I think like three days after I got them done, I actually got a teeny tiny little chip and I didn't get a photo of it, I wish I did. Where she'd shaven the, the very bottom of the tooth was quite thin. Close up, you could see this little chip and I was like, oh, that's no good. Is she gonna have to do a whole new tooth? Anyway, when I went back, she basically just shaved it down, like filed it down and it looked fine. She took a little bit more off of the sides, off of the bulk of them and this is the end result so this is what they look like now I picked up my retainer and that is that that is the end of my dental journey so far and as promised here is a little montage of the before and after from beginning to end through having my braces as they slowly straighten out and then finally getting my lateral incisors and again here's the beginning and the end and I also thought I'd add in this photo of me when I was 20 compared to now. Same sort of smile, different teeth. And here's some pictures of my teeth molds from then and now. You can really see the difference here. And that's that. I'm really happy with it. Hopefully I don't go breaking them. and I don't go having like get them redone anytime soon. I do have to be careful about drinking tea and coffee and staining, staining foods for the first couple of weeks. So I've gone back to drinking tea through a straw again. They can discolour over time, but she said like you just usually just go in and they can like polish them up a little bit. To anyone who has like teeth problems that are maybe a bit more minor or they just want like a slight change to them or they want to fill in a gap or something, composite bonding is... A really good option. I don't want to speak too soon because obviously I've only had these for about a week now. I don't know, maybe they'll crack and they'll break and they'll it will be a horrendous experience, but hopefully not. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my Patreon. So I have a massive, massive secret that I've been keeping close for about the last year and a half now. I'm very selective about who I talk to about it, and even in my personal life, who I talk to about it. I'm hoping to talk about it on YouTube eventually, but if you are on my Patreon, you already know about this. I've even made a whole vlog series about this secret of mine. So shout out to my Patreons because you are amazing and you already know. To join my Patreon, I wanted to make it as affordable as possible. So it's literally only two pounds. This might be slightly different depending where you live. You get access to all of my Patreon only videos and it's like mainly vlogs and like behind the scenes of my life, what it's like working on YouTube, a little bit of my home life, family and friends, little projects and goals I'm working on. And then there's a £4 version which gives you access to a selection of some of my older videos that aren't public on my channel anymore. Quite often I'll ask if anyone has any requests or any videos that they want me to bring back and I will like consider it and usually I end up posting them on my Patreon. If you wanted you could literally pay the £2, go watch all of the videos your little heart desires and then like unsubscribe. Obviously I don't make a full-time income living on YouTube anymore so Patreon is really really vital for me at the moment for earning a little bit of extra money to help pay my rent and bills. So if you want to help a girl out, if you would meet me on the street and buy me a cup of coffee or a beer or a vodka cranberry, please please subscribe to my Patreon. You don't have to stay for long, you can cancel whenever you want and you can watch all the videos you want. So I hope to see you there on Patreon. If this video was helpful please give it a like. Thank you so so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.